What's happening in the world of ride share finance? In this video, I'm going to share with you a uh, YouTuber that I've discovered who's really great when it comes to the stimulus package stuff. I'm going to share with you a new benefits package, which is available exclusively for gig workers. Uh, I'm going to share with you some different driving options. If you don't want to drive for Uber and Lyft, there are other options which are safer. Yeah. And of course, I'm going to cover the stimulus package update including President Trump's executive orders. All right, all that and more. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you why I think this week, the Republicans and the Democrats are gonna to come together and make a deal. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Got the shirt on, drinking the Nespresso. Sunday morning. Some breaking news. Yeah, all right, I'll get to that in a little bit. All right, but let's jump right in. Number one, tough time for drivers, right? It's been, what, now two weeks without the, uh, the big money coming in from the uh, unemployment uh, benefits. Still really murky as to what the future holds. Um, many areas, we still have, um, you know, lockdown, partial lockdown. Demand is really low. You know, Uber just showed that they made more money delivering food than delivering people. So uh, it, it is tough times. I want to recommend this YouTuber. His name is uh, Logan Alec. And every single day he puts out a, a video about the stimulus package. And I'm highlighting this one because I watched this last night and it says, uh, some will not be eligible for Trump's $400 a week and it won't last long. I'll share more about that. Uh, later when I talk about the Trump executive orders. But uh, check out this guy's videos. He does them every day and uh, he's just got, he, he's able to, to tell you uh, what's going on in layman's terms. And, um, and I find him to be uh, really entertaining because he kind of gets into it sometimes. All right, check him out. Okay, number two, a better way to get benefits. So the way things stand now, we don't get any benefits. We're independent contractors, right? So there's a company called Cover, all right? And I'll put a link uh, below this video. And uh, what they provide is portable benefits for gig workers, whether you're with DoorDash, Instacart, uh, any gig company, Lyft, Uber, right? Um, and as you can see here, uh, they cover you if you get into a, a, an accident. Uh, they help you out with hospitalization bills. And they can even uh, help you out if you get deactivated. So the best thing to do is to click on the link, um, check out their website, and then click on get a quote, all right? I got a quote, and uh, it was really reasonably priced, and it just uh, was able to uh, give me a great deal of peace of mind, right? We want peace of mind when we're out there. We wanna know that if we get sick, we get into an accident, we end up in the hospital, it'd be nice to have some money keep coming in. And that's exactly what Cover sets you up for so that uh, you can have that peace of mind. Okay, number three, what else can you do, right? You don't wanna drive for Uber and Lyft. You don't want people in your car coughing and you know the mask and all of that, right? I mean, I saw a video where a guy got whacked. I made a video about it. It's gonna be coming out soon where uh, uh, someone was sitting in the back and she was upset that, uh, that she had to wear a mask. And then, uh, then as she was about to get out of the car, she just went, whack, whack, and, and it hit the guy, you know? So uh, tensions are high. So what are some options where you don't have to deal with people? Well, the first one here is um, DoorDash, <clears throat> okay? DoorDash is awesome. Um, they're looking for people all over the country. So uh, that's one option. Um, second option is Postmates, okay? Postmates uh, deliver in San Francisco. They're offering some kind of a nice little guarantee there. And then uh, the third one, you can deliver groceries, and that is for Instacart, all right? So links, links for all those are below the video. So, okay, number four, status of negotiations. I'm gonna have to have a little cup of coffee before I start talking about this, because as you recall, I said, both sides need to feel some pain, and they're just getting to the point where the pressure is, is starting to uh, force them to give a little bit. And the Democrats even said, we'll go from 3 million down to 2 million if you'll go from 1 million to 2 million. Meet in the middle, okay? And that's about where they were at. Um, so here, uh, CNBC, even though 600 unemployment boost lapsed, Congress 
likely will make new aid retroactive. All right, we like to see that. Next one, Mitch McConnell just opened the door for an extension of the $600 unemployment boost if Trump supports it. All right, that's good news. Um, next, McConnell and Pelosi expected coronavirus relief de uh, deal, but huge differences remain. Okay, that's great. And then yesterday, we get this news that Trump, from his golf course, signed some executive, executive order, okay? And Newsweek reports, Trump signs executive order for $400 a week unemployment benefits, extends payroll tax cuts through 2020, okay? So this is our president. Um, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He's frustrated. He wants things to, to move quickly, so he's doing what he can, okay? And uh, there's a lot of legal issues and questions about whether he can do the things that he just tried to do, right? So that's uh, one thing. And then if you listen to Logan Alec, he went and he did the math. So he actually printed out the, the, the documents that were signed and there's a certain budget for the extension for the for the $400. And he did the math. So if you check out that video, we'll put the link below. It turns out that $400 would only last uh, approximately five to six weeks, not till the end of the year, but five to six weeks. So that at first blush, that seems like that's really bad. But as the Republicans realize that that's what's going to happen, that this is going to backfire right before, <laughs> right before the elections, uh, this is not good. So this is going to bring the Republicans and the Democrats back together. And now they really need to start talking and making things happen. And that's why I think this thing's going to get solved this week. The next article. Um, well, there's Nancy Pelosi, okay? And, and what, what did her and Schumer have to say? Um, they're also taking issue with the president ordering a payroll tax holiday, saying it endangers uh, seniors, Social Security and Medicare, right? So by cutting the payroll tax, you're cutting the funding for Medicare and for Social Security. And that obviously is not good. If you have you know any elderly folks in your life who are living on Social Security, <laughs> that's not a good thing. Um, furthermore, these announcements do nothing to increase testing, nothing to reopen schools, nothing to put food on the table for hungry families, nothing to prevent heroes being laid off across state and local government, nothing to protect the Postal Service or the integrity of our elections, nothing on many critical needs of the American people, the statement reads. So what's she talking about? So as you recall, these are all the things that were being negotiated. So the stimulus payment, that's gone, according to Trump, okay, that $1,200. The FPUC extension, so this executive order says $400 a week, and as I said, that's only gonna last five to six weeks. How long? Not long enough. Liability protection, gone. Funding for testing, gone. Funding for schools, gone. Funding for state and local government, gone. Funding for more business loans, gone. Instead, we've added a payroll tax cut. So, key takeaways here. Uh, what Donald Trump just did is I think he just uh, lit a fuse. He lit a fuse. And I am uh, grateful for that, okay? Um, it, somehow he's managed to <laughs> make himself uh, uh, stronger from this because he took some action. Uh, whether it's legal, we don't know. But he has, he has, uh, uh, he's forging a deal. He's forging, he, he's forcing the Republicans and the Democrats to get back to the table quick because they don't want, uh, the Republicans don't want this to happen because it's a time bomb waiting to blow up. And of course, the Democrats don't want this to happen because it makes Trump uh, look like he's the big hero. So they both want this off the table and they want their deal on the table and Congress has full authority to put the deal together. There's no legal question about whether, you know, Trump can do this or not. The Congress can do this. And this is a, 
a, a more full package that would last you know for a longer period of time so that's my prediction this is the week it's going to happen so thanks for watching it's been a big week next week's going to be a bigger week definitely please give this a thumbs up that helps the algorithm to get more people to be able to see this definitely subscribe i've got something to tell you this week um our very own harry the rideshare guy campbell is going to do an interview with dara k the ceo of uber and sign up for notifications so that you get notified when that goes live so you can watch this really compelling uh, interview where Harry asked some tough questions, all right? So like, subscribe, notifications. Y'all go out and have a great day. Thanks so much. This is Jay Crater saying uh, have an awesome day and be safe out there.